up, what up, y'all? Welcome to another episode on the By Miles Design and Print Studios YouTube channel. My name is Albert Miles Mejia. I am the owner and founder of Legal Hustle Clothing, the creative director of By Miles Design and Print Studios, and I'm also the creator of the Facebook group YYC Soldiers Calgary Sneaker Community. Now, today I'm going to be doing kind of like the part two of the reviews by Miles with the Knife Apparel, but today we're going to be printing the Undertaker Rest in Peace All Over print. Um, today's video is going to be kind of showing you a little bit of uh, how I go from here and how I print this into that. So um, make sure to sit back, relax. I don't know what else to say. Uh, so we're going to get to it. But before then, if you could do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, like this video. And if you got any comments, please leave them at the end of the video. All right, guys, now we are on Photoshop. Um, before we get started, I just wanted to show you guys the original image that I'm using. So this is the image here of the Undertaker uh, for this all over print. I'm not gonna go through a step-by-step -step video of how I created this design, but if you guys do wanna see it, please leave that in the comments. Um, but for now, this is the original image. And then this is the all over print. Unfortunately, guys, I don't remember exactly where I got the template uh, for this, but if I do remember, I will put the link in the description. Um, but as you can see here, there are some wordings that say rest in peace. And this was actually uh, created over in uh, photo or Illustrator. And I just moved the wordings over, put the Undertaker on top after I created the threshold. And um, I just erased the images in the background. Um, as you guys can see, uh, there are no words behind the Undertaker. Um, his face is actually transparent. Um, I can see if I can show you guys here. Uh, if I were to move the Undertaker around, you guys can see that the wordings are behind him. So uh, I'm just gonna unselect everything and I'm gonna put everything in one layer to make this a little bit easier. Now, so I merged all the layers, but as you guys can see, there are um, some guidelines on here. Um, I will get to that in a bit um, because I am using a 16 by 20 heat press and an Epson uh, Workforce 7710. I don't have a giant heat press where I can press this all at once. So I am going to have to do this shirt by sections. So um, I am going to be printing on 13 by 19 um, pages and I'm going to be pressing on my, my heat press. So it'll be per section one minute per section, you know, like press it on hardboard and then move it over. Um, it is what it is. That's what I got to do for now, but, uh, it's not that bad. It takes a little bit of time, but, uh, as long as you follow the steps and you, you do everything correctly, everything turns out great. I do see a little thing I don't like on this already. Um, but that's just for me. I'm going to just delete, uh, delete that you guys are seeing the t-shirt did erase but in sublimation it doesn't print white so it doesn't matter anyways so what you can do take your rectangular marquee tool um, and then just go corner to corner so you're gonna go all the way where it says 19 by 13 what you're gonna do command C and I already have one open but you're gonna create a 13 by 19 um, I guess page or new document 300 uh, I'll just show you guys real quick you want it to be at 300 pixels and use a CMYK for color mode uh, that's usually my standard for what I do and I believe that's the standard CMYK for sublimation uh, I'll just open another one for you guys but here let's just go to untitled one uh, we already did the command C so for Mac if you're on Mac it's command V I'm just gonna drop that part in and I'm just gonna move it to the edge of the pages because it is a 13 by 19 um, page this is your t-shirt you might not see it but this is you know you guys will know your t-shirt is in the background if you do it all over print where you have um, the t-shirt being in all black or all purple as I've, I've done an Owen Hart one before where it was all pink it's a little bit easier to see um, but with this one I just wanted to do a white tee with purple super simple um, and just a little bit cleaner cleaner for me when I print this out 
So we're gonna speed this up, but we're gonna do this for every single panel. Again, for, I'll give you guys a quick look, corner to corner. We're gonna go all the way through till it says 13 by 19 or 19 by 13. Now go to Untitled 2, drop it there, stretch out the page to reach the edge of the sheet. So um, you should have a perfect uh, full page print just like this. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna speed this up. There is a little section here. You still wanna print that out on a 13 by 19. Just from experience, I try to keep everything the same. Even though you are gonna be wasting a little bit of paper, it just makes it a lot easier for when you're printing it and then when you have to piece it together. So I'm gonna speed this up and then we're gonna go to uh, printing it and then piecing it together. All right guys, so now that we have all our um, our pieces saved, do you wanna make sure you save them as a JPEG? I think you can do it as a PNG. Uh, it just makes it easier when you're printing. So what I do, save it as a JPEG, uh, open it up in preview. So I'll just show you, these are actually just every piece. Again, 13 by 19 pages. When you put everything together, it will make up the t-shirt and I will show you guys how I do that. Um, you guys can see a little mistake just above the Undertaker's head. I will probably just cut that out. It's, I can print it. It's nothing too crazy. Uh, but we will open it up in preview. So we'll open up part one. And from here, I'm just going to want to go to file, print. And I am use, again, I am using um, an Epson 7710. I don't have my printer plugged in right now, but I'm just kind of showing you the step by step with this. So I put it at... Uh, sublimation I have a sublimation setting so I'll leave it at workforce 7710 click that and just to show you a little bit of what my settings are um, for the layout you want to make sure it's mirrored or flipped horizontally and then my color options I am using Cosmos ink uh, I am gonna be printing this on the deluxe denias apparel t-shirt as this is also my part two review of the shirt, uh, but you can see right here, it's all settings three, 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 two, two, two. That's just, I've always had it like that. And I like how the colors come out. So that's always how I've, I've made it. Uh, I got to make sure that when I print this, it is on a 13 by 19 borderless and leave it to whatever it says. If it says scale at a hundred, leave it at that. You want to make sure all your pages print out exactly the same. So it's a lot easier when we piece everything together. So I'm going to take you guys to the printer and we'll go from there. All right. So as you guys can see right now, we are set up at the printer. Um, I do have my paper already in the tray 13 by 19. The paper that I'm using is text print XPHR. So I've been using this since I started sublimation. I know a lot of people say you can just use um, regular high quality computer paper, but personally for me, I don't want to have that worry. So um, I've been using text print for the last uh, two years now and I haven't had any complaints. So for this, I am going to again speed it up. The way I print my sheets is a process. Um, I print everything one by one. I know you can probably just do everything all at once, but I just want to make sure that just in case there's a paper jam or anything happens that it's only on the one sheet and it's not on every single sheet. So here we go. You guys enjoy this quick time lapse of printing paper. All right guys, now after that very long process of printing the design, um, we have here, so I told you guys that that little part on the sleeve was gonna be printed up on the one sheet, but because I knew exactly what I needed to do, I just printed it on the one just to save me some paper. Um, but here we go, we have every single sheet printed for this t-shirt. Now what I have to do is I actually have to piece everything together cut out some of the white that gives space to like stuff like this and if there's a little bit of white like here 
I gotta do a little bit of homegirl acting and speaking. I gotta remember you need to be the recent tape to do this project. Um, to do it all over again. Like, just make sure you wanna be able to tweak it. On the other side, to make sure everything stays together. Um, so I will do another uh, time lapse video, the squeegee video, just so you guys can see the process. Um, but this is what essentially will come out of the, the printer. So if you're not using a big potter or a big printer, like a 24 inch or a 38 or whatever the sizes are, um, and you're just using um, a converted Epson printer or even a Sawgrass printer, this is kind of the steps that you would have to do. Again, this is a 13 by 9 inch paper uh, text print. Uh, so let's get to it. I'm going to piece everything together because we're going to kind of see the time lapse of how all of this pieces together and then the next step that we're going to have to do. Okay, so now we have completed um, taping the uh, all over print. One mistake I did uh, do that I actually forgot to do when I was sizing up my shirt was sizing up the artwork. So, um, I mean, this is a shirt just for me, and I'm just sampling uh, Denias's or Mia shirts, Denias Carol. Um, but the print is actually a lot bigger than I anticipated it to be, which is okay. I have no problem with it. Undertaker's head is probably gonna be a little bit higher on uh, the collar, but that's perfectly fine. So uh, over here, that extra piece for the sleeve, I actually don't need it at all. And I can kind of size this up already. Uh, but the next step that we're gonna do, put on a little bit of spray adhesive just so the design doesn't shift around when we're printing it. And I might actually cut this, trim it down a little bit. And then we're gonna start the heat press at 385 degrees Fahrenheit. And every section is gonna be pressed for one minute. The one thing about pressing these shirts, um, like an all over print without a bigger press, and even with a bigger press, you are gonna have a little bit of imperfections. Um, you know, trying to print between the armpits you might have it a little cut off a little bit, but that's kind of the thing that happens when you do sublimate a bigger print and you're not cutting the pieces of the shirt and sewing it back together. So we're gonna throw this up onto our hardboard, but before that, I'm gonna put some uh, parchment paper or butcher paper on the hardboard just to protect it so we don't get a lot of these um, uh, sublimation inks going through. Uh, and then we are going to spray the spray adhesive on the all over print artwork just so it doesn't shift and then we're going to start the heat press. So now we are ready to print um, our shirt. Again, we're gonna be printing it in sections, so it's gonna be, um, I might start actually in the middle and go uh, one minute here, one minute here, one minute here, and then flip it and maybe just do a complete minute this way. Now, I didn't put paper or parchment paper, butcher paper in the middle. I believe this shirt is thick enough um, just, by the, just by feeling it that I don't think the ink is gonna go through. Now, uh, she never told me about this, like she never told me that I should or I shouldn't. Um, so I'm actually gonna be testing this out for myself. And if it works, then it saves me paper and it saves me a step from having to insert paper in the middle of this. Um, again, this is just me testing it out. Uh, I honestly think this is gonna be uh, a thick enough t-shirt that the ink is not gonna go through and come on to the other side of the shirt. Uh, so come with me to the heat press where we're gonna press this.
All right, guys, and just like that, we went from our all-over print design on Photoshop to the finished product, and this looks amazing. The t-shirt itself for print is dope. Um, I, like I said, when it comes to sublimation, you do have a little bit of imperfection, especially if you're not um, taking the shirt apart and pressing it. So just like I said in the armpit, and then there are some spots where I definitely get enough pressure. Again, this shirt is just for me. It's a sample shirt. Um, I also did get uh, a little worried over one little spot. So this part right here, at the very end of that last part of pressing, I decided to press this because it didn't get pressed on. And because of that, I compromised the black because it was back underneath the heat press. So you might be able to see it here, but you can see that, um, especially at the top, super, super vibrant black. And then because I repressed that one little area, this part right here, kind of got like a, I don't know, like it's not really completely brown, but kind of like a dingy look. Um, I don't know, it's not super noticeable sometimes. Uh, but I don't mind it. It's a shirt for me um, But overall the colors pop on this. This is again the nice apparel super super dope quality um, Paired up with Cosmo Zinc. So this right here is Cosmo Zinc paired up with a nice apparel um, also <laughs> I did get a little cocky and I said that I wasn't gonna put butcher paper because I thought it was thick enough, which I still think it's pretty thick for what it is. There is a little bit of ghosting. Um, it, it's kind of just in the area where I repressed that design. So this part right here has a little bit of ghosting. It's probably because I hit it twice. If I left it at the one press, like everything else, you don't see any ghosting on the back. It's just that one area. Uh, but overall, quality of the shirt's super dope. Um, the print came out amazing. I can't thank uh, the nice apparel enough for sending me these samples to try on. Um, make sure to follow me on Instagram at buy.miles, on Twitter at buymiles, on Twitch, twitch.tv twitch slash buymiles, on Facebook, facebook.com slash buymiles. Also, I am doing a giveaway starting March 17th, so make sure you follow me on Instagram, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any questions about the apparel, about the way I do my sublimation, please feel free to shoot me a message, send me an email, shoot me a DM on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, funny enough, I got, this is one of the first shirts that I sublimated for a client. I made a sample for myself of Owen Hart. Being from Calgary, Hart family, this is one of the um, heroes that we've had growing up. So I got The Undertaker and got Owen Hart. Thank you again for checking out this video. If you do like what you see, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And if you have a question, again, feel free to shoot me a message. I'm always open to ask that for you. Till the next video, peace.